in today's episode. How are you doing, Winter? I'm so still snowing, still fantastic, still sort of almost like inside a pillowcase or something like that. So quiet, downy. But enough of that. I've just finished the game I started yesterday. I asked her this question, name a place, name a blah, 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 blah. And there is a game called Mad Lips, which is sort of you tell a story and then there's a story and then you sort of insert words into that. So you may be telling the story of Cinderella and then it changed the name of Cinderella to Marilyn Monroe and the sort of dance to uh, jogging, something like something like that. And I did the same, but I call it Mad Lyrics because I've taken a song and I asked you to sort of tell me words to change the lyrics. So here's the first ever mad lyrics and i want especially to thank ariel and dude mon dude to for being so quick with so many good uh words and now i want you to guess if you can what song this used to be my my at san francisco abraham lincoln did play Oh yeah, and Mick Jagger has met his destiny in quite a similar way. The Lolita book on the shelf is always repeating itself. San Francisco. Mick Jagger was defeated, Stevie Nicks won the war. San Francisco. Promised to love Stevie Nicks forevermore. San Francisco. Couldn't escape if Mick Jagger wanted to. San Francisco. Knowing his fate is to be with Stevie Nicks. San Francisco, finally facing his San Francisco. My, my, Mick Jagger tried to hold Stevie Nicks back, but Stevie Nicks was stronger. Oh yeah, and now it seems his only chance is procrastinating. And how could Mick Jagger ever refuse? Mick Jagger feels like Mick Jagger wins when Mick Jagger lose. And now, people, here's the question. What song, the name of the song, was this originally? Did you know? Right here. I'm sitting here in my newly decorated bedroom and trying to decide what, because I need to go grocery shopping today, what I should buy. Let's see, how about, these are mostly, well, sandwiches. Am I ready for South African food again? No, West African. All that peanut butter. Maybe. So I made up my mind. These are sort of a weak menu they always have in this. So this is, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've done Friday, that great vegan cheese sauce. And I'm going to go, oh, oh I've done Saturday. That was fantastically good. I made that twice because it was that good. And then I'm going to do the Sunday. Yes. Oh. Yes, that's so. That's four. Yes, fantastic. So they didn't. They don't seem to be very complicated. So I'm gonna just look that I got all the spices, uh, and then I'm gonna go out shopping. Quite sure what these men are doing. Maybe they're getting this snow out of the trees. Doesn't it look like that? Okay, people, I don't know if they're stuck because they're just standing there and sort of jiggling and wiggling the crane. Uh, if they're still here when I get back, I'm gonna ask them because they're afraid to ask for help. Because they're not going up, they're not going down, they don't do anything to the trees, they just stand there. 
not going to go shopping at the mall today. I'm going to go to the nearest the subway station. No, well, the closest subway station to my subway station. This is a place called Aspud and I used to live here. So I spent about $40 of a little less than four, 40 pounds. And for that I'm getting 12 portions. Wait, yes, I think 12 or more. 12 or more. So I'm going home. But I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. Okay, people, so it's time for lunch and I will be making these quinoa and peanut butter patties or hamburgers. And I'm really not mad about trying sort of making my own hamburgers because often they sort of fall apart and they get sticky and it's a mess. But you have to try before you know. So I'm going to start by cooking one and a fourth deciliter of white, well, not exactly white quinoa, so red and white quinoa. For how long? I don't know. So add four deciliters of water and one vegan bouillon cube to the boil. That has come to a boil. You add two and a half, two and a fourth deciliter of quinoa. And I don't know how heavily it needs to boil. That. Yes, that's going to cook for 12 minutes. But, oh, 12 minutes has passed, and aren't they supposed to be sort of? Yes, but they're not. So I'm going to cook them a little bit more because I mean they're supposed to look like that round thing is. No, let's keep cooking. So anyway, this needs to cool down before we start using it. So in the meantime, let's do some mincing. It's so funny because it's telling you here that you, can, you should mince the ginger, you should mince the garlic, the carrot, and then it says, put them in a blender, a mixer. I mean, so you just have to sort of roughly chop it and then put it in a blender. A mixer, a mixer, damn it, why do I see? Keep saying blender. I'm going to start using the word food processor because I think that's the correct one. Into the food processor, two garlic cloves, one half of a red onion, roughly a tablespoon of um, ginger, and one carrot. This is one carrot and a half because it was so small. And then blitz away. And then you add half a deciliter of peanuts and let's see one tablespoon of peanut butter so in it goes oh god mm, i love peanut butter well i like peanut butter and then you add half a can of big white beans and blitz away again and then we add half a deciliter of cornstarch and blitz away again. Oh. Cornstarch, I've learned, I'm eating peanuts. <laughs> mm, I've learned, has that property like eggs for keeping a dough or a patty or something together. So that's the reason and 
we've got it in that this burger thing. I wonder if this is done. Yeah, let's say it's done. I'm hungry. Je ferme. <gasps> that was right. So I'm now adding this. Looks like mustard seed, doesn't it? So people, it's time to do some frying and by the look of this dough, I think it will... Oh, this is be a, quite a sticky affair. Right? Maybe three. So this is not so much burgers as it is pancakes, in my opinion. People, I'm trying out a thing here. I'm trying to see what happens if I microwave the patties before I start frying them. Because maybe that uh, will take, I don't know, Let's, it's worth a try. The way I'm making the dressing, it's a half a red onion chopped, one and a half deciliter of vegan oh, mayo. Oh, yeah, oh, that was clean. And then two to three teaspoons sambal olek. This is, I guess, about one teaspoon. Out, out damn spot. Oh, hopefully I have more in the fridge. Damn it. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. So, oh God, I'm at. And to the dressing, we'll also be adding one, what do you call it, pressed garlic. Not pressed, there is another word for it. I can't remember. Anyway, garlic. And also one teaspoon of salt, and then you just mix. Okay, people, people, let's see what happens with these microwaved. Are they any better? Well, they, they are a little firmer, I think. Okay, people, so far this has been a success. The microwaved ones, the, look at these sort of like pancakes and these are more like you know proper patties so people i think this is a fantastic success if you these and these and look there's so much firmer these are still sort of like cold pancakes not really cooked through hey people here's my lunch god damn it i'm gonna have a taste taste right here right now let's turn off the wind machine. Here we go. Hopefully, I hope it's good. Mm. Oh, it's good. The dressing is really good and you know that the, it's it they turn sort of crispy. So, mm. that microwave trick was fantastic. Mm. Mm -hmm. People, it is time to do the dishes. Something exploded in my kitchen. Of now, the competition about the song is over. The song, the original song was Waterloo by ABBA. And these two are the winners. Congratulations. So people, here are the mad lyrics again. My, my, at San Francisco, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, God, no, fuck it, I'm going to sing. My, my, at San Francisco, Abraham Lincoln did play. Oh, yeah. And Mick Jagger has met its destiny in quite a similar way. The Lolita book on the shelf is always repeating itself. Now this is hard part. San Francisco, Mick Jagger was defeated. Stevie Nicks won the war. San Francisco, promised to love Stevie Nicks forevermore. San Francisco, couldn't escape if Jig Mick Jagger wanted to. San Francisco, knowing his fate is to be with Stevie Nicks. San Francisco, finally facing his San Francisco. Do 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 do. My my. Mick Jagger tried to hold Stevie Nicks, but Stevie Nicks was stronger. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, no, I need to start again. No, no, I, wait, the last verse just again. I'm such an excellent singer. My, my, Mick Jagger tried to hold Stevie Nicks back, but Stevie Nicks was stronger. Oh, yeah, 
and now it seems his only chance is, pro his chance is procrastinating. And how could Mick Jagger ever refuse? Mick Jagger feels Mick Jagger wins when Mick Jagger loses. Well, that's it. And then there's sort of verse refrain, verse refrain, verse refrain. But Waterloo, San Francisco. Thank you ever so much for all of you who um, competed. I had great fun. By the way, there were so many people that like this sort of mad lyrics game that I am going to turn it into a thing. I'm going to try. And I'm going to turn it into Mad Lyrics Monday. So if I remember, on Sunday I will ask you questions sort of like name three historical persons and uh, something you can do in the water, stuff like that. Right? Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.